Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Video Game Dad, the show that's going to try not to explode at launch. I'm the VG Dad, and this of course is the VG Kid. Hi. I've always had an intrinsic interest in outer space. On clear nights, I will find myself gazing up at the stars, trying my best to remember the names of all the constellations. Space travel itself has always fascinated me, as well as the possibility of life on other planets. So naturally, given the opportunity to simulate a NASA mission, I jumped at the chance. Today, we're playing a game that takes all the excitement of a government-funded space mission and compresses it into easily consumable chunks. Come join us for... Space Shuttle Project. That's right, we are playing Space Shuttle Project for the NES. Are you ready to get started? It's absolutely VG Dad! Yeah, good one. Space Shuttle yeah, we're playing Space Shuttle Project. Um, this isn't like a space theme month or anything. I don't know. I was just thinking about this game. I'm not really sure why. Like, I literally have not played this game for 20 years, so I'm not even remotely sure why it was on my mind. But hey, we're playing it now. Hey, we get to name our guy. I think I've got an idea of what we're going to name him, but why don't you go ahead and tell me what you want to name him anyway? Joe. You're gonna, oh, wow. Okay, well, that was, that was a genuine surprise. All right, we're naming him Joe. I thought for sure you were going to say we should name him Cat, but, well, color me surprised. Uh, I don't really remember this game, like, at all. Oh, no, you know what? This is some sort of, uh, copy protection, I think. So we'll go 7569, 7569. This is actually, we're supposed to, okay. 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we were on Columbia, I think. I understand how this is working now. Columbia, Columbia, Columbia. Yeah, we passed our first test. On to mission one. We shall re release surveillance satellite. We're doing space stuff. Anyway, after doing like I've, like after doing that Star Trek game, I don't know. I guess I just had space on the brain. Okay, so we have to fill the elevator, enter the elevator, switch on the oxygen fuel switch, switch on the hydrogen fuel switch, open orbiter hatch, board all crew members, enter orbiter hatch. It's just like going into space for real. I guess. Okay, so we gotta switch this guy on. I'm not real sure how to do that. Uh, oh, oh, it's actually telling me exactly what I need to do. This game seems like it's actually a lot easier than when I was a kid. I had, I had a hard time playing this game as a kid. This was a no joke game. Like, like I said, I don't think I ever got past the first screen uh, without the help of my uncle. Now I gotta get the crew. Come on, crew. Pilot. Oh Lord, I'm gonna run out of time. No, come on. Get inside, Commander. What? What the blummins? I think in real space they give you more than 40 seconds. What do you think? How much? How much time do you think they give real astronauts to get into the space shuttle? I don't know. Maybe 50. You think they give them 50 seconds? Yeah. I think maybe they give him a little bit more than 50 seconds. This is like crazy bones time, man. Hurry, hurry! Phew, we made it. All right, I gotta roll 120 degrees, do a lot of other stuff. Oh my God, space is complicated. 14, 14, T minus 10. That's why I want to be a veterinarian. Cause you don't, you don't want to do space stuff? Uh, uh. Uh, 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 I'm scared, guys. I I don't I think can't I, watch. you can't watch. Whoa, we're blasting off. Hopefully, it's not like the real Columbia, because uh, I think that was the Columbia, that uh, the one that blew up on the. Whoops! Oh, dang it. Okay, we gotta hit it right in the blue mark. Dang it! This is tough. Come on, get your roll on. Yeah, I did the thing. Now we got a thrust. Uh, nope. Oh, 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 okay. I understand now. Ah, oh, dang it. We're on our, our last life. Space is weird and complicated. You know, I remember this being a lot more difficult when I was a kid, but I think it's just because when I played it, I didn't really understand what I was supposed to be doing. Like, it gives you that long list of instructions before you start the mission. 
But then, like, once you actually start it, it's like, just line up the lights. I remember this being a lot more difficult. I don't know what Heko, or maybe that's Miko. This is intense, man. Are you excited for space? Yeah. Yeah, you sound excited. Check it out, we're in space. We're orbiting the Earth. Whoa, moon. Yeah, there's the moon. We're doing cool space stuff. Uh, space is happening, guys. It's real spacey. Oh, sweet. For Valentine's Day, I gave out Kit Kats with cats on them. Yeah, that's true. There, there were puppies, too. And I have some Oh, cards God, right I just now. ran into a satellite. I think, I think I messed up. I think that mission was a failure. Oh, I've got zero oxygens. Oh, okay, I just have to dodge the satellites. I died. I think that's game over. Shuttle mission fails. Everyone died super bad. All right, so our code is 3477 and we're on the Atlantis. 3477, Space Shuttle Atlantis. 3477, Atlantis. Okay, Atlantis is after Columbia. Columbia, Atlantis, yeah. I didn't lose a life on the literally the easiest part of this game. The part that's just read numbers, read name, don't be bad at game. Oh, we're getting it close. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. Well, that is a problem. Oh my gosh. Hey! Whoo, nick of time. Two seconds left. We're going into space, going into space. It's time for I the space jam. I don't even know what that was. See, I thought I was running out of time here to like figure out what I was doing, but this is just the 10 second countdown before liftoff. We've gone for main engine start. Time for space. She's making a really intense face, like her eyes are squinted and she's got puckered lips like she ate something really sour. This must be intense space. Okay, I gotta pay attention. It's intense space music, guys. That's what this is. We're doing intense space stuff. Oh no. Fortunately, this one's this one that one that one's pretty easy. This one you just have to hit it exactly in that blue mark. I mean it's pretty lenient, but still man, it's tough. Nope, I gotta chase it. I gotta chase the arrow. See, I'm the one on the bottom, and the one up at the top is leading, so I have to try and catch it. Whoosh! Wow! I always thought it would be kind of cool to be an astronaut, but the problem was that, like, it requires a lot of physical endurance and training and, like, being a little bit smarter than I am. <laughs> so, space never really happened for me, and that's why I'm an artist by trade. All right, cool. Release satellite, put satellite in orbit, open solar panels. I think I can do that. You, it's only three things at once. It is only three things at once, and I've got five oxygens. Oh, dang it. Ah! Okay, I think I need what I need to try and do, I need to try and go off to the left on that one. Hurry. And we put it up into orbit. Sick. Oh, it does literally all the work for you. You just have to put it up into orbit, and then it's a satellite. I hope it has cable news on it. Or maybe a uh, Cartoon Network. I hope that satellite broadcasts Cartoon Network. I love Cartoon Network. Um, and it just, like, it just gives you this list of things that you're supposed to do, but literally it's just like, press the button when the command prompt tells you to. All right, we gotta close the doors. Whew, we did it. Uh, whoop, I blew it. <laughs> I wasn't sure what direction it was going to come from. No. Dang, really? No. I don't even know what to do on this. This one's weird. You have to like hit it early. Oh, you have, oh, I see. You have to push up. That's what it was trying to tell me to do. Well, I just cost the nation millions of dollars again. All right. Well, we're going to try this one more time, I guess. Maybe we might actually get to the end of this space shuttle mission. All right, so Joe, astronaut Joe is going on space shuttle discovery this time. 7569, discovery. 
Endeavor and Discovery. Okay. Enterprise, Endeavor, Discovery. Boom. I didn't blow it. I didn't explode on the launch pad. That was definitely what happened as a kid. Because like I said, I didn't understand that you were just supposed to match up those numbers. So my uncle had to help me quite a lot to play this game. All right. Let's do some space. Here's your chance to your dance. It's space walk. I always, for some reason, I just always thought this part was way harder than it actually is. And it turns out it's actually fairly easy. All right, down oh, we go. Oh, 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 down, 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 down. All right, come on, crew. 30, 17, 16. That's okay, honey. I don't need a live count. Come on, get off the elevator, you fool. I don't think actual elevators work that way. Like, you're not allowed to just step off. Like, do you have to actually, I mean, you could step off, but like, there's nowhere for you to do that. This game sets an unrealistic standard for elevators. Zero out of 10. Oh, okay. Hugs for good luck for this space mission. From what I understand, there's actually more missions beyond this, but like, I've never seen them. Like, I was kind of reading up uh, a little bit of history about the game just to kind of see, and I think there's a total of five different missions that you can do. So, you know, there is eventually an end game and it's not just this one mission over and over. Because, I mean, that would be kind of lame, a pretty short game, but you know, it is what it is. All right, thrust. Nope, wrong way. This one is like really generous with your allotted time to catch up with the arrows. <coughs> This is definitely a learning experience. I have a lot of cards. You have a lot of cards? Yeah, she's got some leftover Valentine's Day cards. I mean, we're recording this like the week after Valentine's Day, but it's going to be coming out in like almost time for St. Patrick's Day. So, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. It's almost here, guys. Yep, it's almost here. Do cool Irish things like eat potatoes and... Corned beef hash. Dude, I love me some corned beef hash. Let me tell you about corned beef hash. It's really good. I like french fries and french fries are made out of potatoes. You know what? That's true. Maybe we'll have some french fries for St. Patrick's Day. Alright. Is it space time? We're in orbit again. Hopefully I don't explode the shuttle. I have a toy cat named Iris. That's true. You do have a toy cat named Iris. Why don't you tell the audience about your toy cat, Iris? I got Iris for Christmas last year. And what's cool about Iris? She has three babies. Yeah, it's one of those uh, toys that, like, it has little kittens inside of it. So, you know, you give it, birth to them. Two girls and one boy. Yep. What? What the blummins? That is, that is nonsense. It's stupid. And Iris? Ah, dang it. Iris had right. a bow and then it just randomly fell off. Well, you love that toy pretty hard, so I'm not terribly surprised that it came off. It's just one of those things, but you know what? We can probably ask Grammy and she'll be able to fix it. All right, get an orbit, you. Don't get clocked by a satellite this time. Whew, that was close. There's just like a very tiny window that you can fit that into. All right. Let's try not to botch this mission this time. So we just push button. Now we push up. What? Oh, man. Now we yaw. Yaw. Thrust, 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 thrust. <coughs> toot, 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 thrust and thrust in and going back and forth because it's a space shuttle, girl. Yeah, this way. I messed up. It's a very interesting game. Like, you have to actually hold it down on these ones that have the directions. And then we pitch. Oh, we're going in. We're going down, buddy. Oh, I think we might have actually succeeded this mission. I, did, I have never actually seen this. It's rainbow. It is rainbow, because... Oh, whoa. Oh, we got a break. Uh, hit them air brakes. It's not really brakes. It's more like uh, thrusting in the opposite I direction. 
I think that's S turn, because it's shaped like an S the way that the shuttle is turning. See? It kind of goes to the right and then to the left. Alright, we break. We break, boys. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's not time for another five turn. Or S turn. Whatever you want to call it. Because five kind of looks like S. Especially with this font. That's probably what the five looks like in this font. But I'm pretty sure it's actually called an S turn. Uh, trim. Oh, here we go. This is exciting. We might actually have a successful space mission. Oh, we got a flare. flare. All right. Pooty two flare into the right. Oh my gosh, this is this is actually really exhilarating, guys. Oh, gear. gear what gear, gear, gear are you gear, in? Gear. gear. Well, what do I know about shifting? Oh, that's landing gear. gear. Okay. Crunch. Now I probably have to hit the brakes one more time. Yep. We gotta, we gotta chase down that top arrow. Whew. I think that's a successful mission. High five it out. That was a weak high five. Give me a high five. Yeah, there we go. Now let's fist bump. And blow it up. All right. Shuttle heroes return. Orbiters flown back to Florida. Top 747. Wow. That was extremely exhilarating. And you know what? I think that's a pretty good way to end the episode, don't you? Yeah. We ended with a successful space mission after botching three. But shh, don't tell the American people about those ones. All right, so after a little bit of time with Space Shuttle Project, what did you think? Yeah. What did you like? When we did a good job. And is there anything that you did not like? When it was scary. Like when the spaceship was first launching? Yeah, okay. So what kind of rating do you want to give to this game? Five kittens meow. I honestly remember hating this game as a kid. So when it came time to actually play, imagine my surprise when I discovered a unique gem in the NES library. I realize now my problem was that I just didn't understand how to play the game. And to be fair, it's not always 100% clear what you're supposed to do. Fortunately, after some trial and error, there is a fair bit of simple mindless fun to be had here. It's definitely not a pretty game, but the graphics get the job done. In addition, the unique password system gives it that extra bit of oomph to make me want to come back for more. At the end of the day, I'd say this is worth a look if you want to see a unique experience on the NES. Well that is all the time that we have for this week guys. As always, we hope that you enjoyed this episode and we hope to see you back here next week. Until then, keep playing.